Hello. Welcome back to the third episode of the CVU Show. My name is Diego. And I'm Joe. And we are glad to bring you this week's news, and we hope you're able to stay dry during this rainy weather. Recently, we did an interview with Joe and Dave T about the farm on CVU campus. Hi, how are you? How is your family? Oh, I'm good. I'm excited. My family's good. We're about to have some, a new a new boy added to the family tomorrow, so uh, that question couldn't couldn't be better. So I'm doing great. How much did the farm produce this summer? Oh, that's a good question. Probably not as much as I thought, because the goats got out twice and made their way to the farm. So they hammered the kale pretty good. They hammered some other stuff. The carrots, oh, they destroyed all the carrots. Um, but other than that, we still got over 350 pounds that went to the cafeteria. We still have more to go. So we're, we're doing pretty good. What's the busiest time of year for the farm? The busiest time of the year is probably late spring when we're putting everything in um, and getting the goats back out there so they can go eat some fresh grass and whatever else they want to get into um, and then probably this time of year we're starting to harvest as much as we can to get it to the cafeteria probably that's probably the busiest time for sure why did you start a farm at CVU oh good question Joe um, you know I just felt like there were so many aspects of of all of our lives and where our food comes from and just being a seventh generation Vermonter that I think we were kind of slipping away from us and I just wanted a place on campus where people could get their hands dirty and feel a little bit of that every day they went to school so I think that was a big big piece thanks for talking with us best of luck thank you Joe wow that sounds awesome Thank you, Joe, and Dave, for participating in this interview. 300 pounds is a lot of food. And the pepper in the beginning looked amazing. CSC is hosting another kickball tournament as a fundraiser. We have an interview with Harper Anderson, president of the CSC, for more information about the tournament. Hi, I'm Stanley, and I'm here with two people from the CSC club. I'm Harper. Hi, I'm Max. Uh, why did you decide to do the kickball tournament and what is the kickball tournament? Alright, so the kickball tournament is something that we started last year during COVID because there's a way that we could have groups of people together and outside with COVID and everyone could just enjoy uh, being there and being together. This year we're starting it off, hopefully next Monday will be the games. It's just a good time, obviously there's a competitive edge to it, but you just get a group of friends together or a group of people you aren't as close with six people, it's co-ed teams, and you just get out there and have a good time while playing kickball. And then, you know, if you are doing well and are in yachts, and obviously you're going for the chizzy. If we still want to participate in the tournament, and uh, we, if we haven't signed up, are we still allowed to sign up for it? If you would like, you could shoot me an email at uh, Harper Anderson, cbsdvt.com.org.org. Okay. And the first round of games is still going. If you reach out to me, you have a full team, and it works out for matchup purposes to join. You can, if not, we'll get you in there next year or at a future event. I heard this kickball tournament is a fundraiser. Can you tell me more about the fundraiser? So this year we're using the kickball tournament to fund for CSC. We have some big plans for what we're trying to do around Halloween and some plans for future fundraisers and using the money through the kickball tournament that will be able to jumpstart those fundraisers for the future. When does the kickball tournament start this year? Um, I think kickball is going to be starting on Monday, and we will have games during advisory every day. Since advisory is a short time, if a game is still going past the three innings we have set aside, we will have it go into the next day, and if it works out for the teams, they can play after school or during C3. Thank you, guys, and back to the studio. Fun friends and fundraising in one. 
Another reason to join is to show your group of friends or the best kickball team at CVU. Do you feel like it's getting colder? Yeah, the last few days have been a bit chillier than I had liked. It's October 22nd, nine more days to Halloween. Oh, that reminds me. Friday, October 29th, CVU will be celebrating Halloween. Emmett is here to tell us some details. Hi, I'm Emmett, and it's almost time for Halloween. And to celebrate the Crystal Skull competition, it will return once more. On Friday, October 29th, there will be a costume contest on the track during C3. The first and second place finishers will receive a prize as well as the top two advisory costumes. To celebrate more, advisories are encouraged to boo other advisories. Make sure you don't get caught. If you get booed, make sure to go to the front office to receive a You've Been Booed poster. Have a happy Halloween, everyone. Now back to the studio. Thank you, Emmett. I can't wait to dress up. And now, here's the sports. Hi, I'm Calvin, and this is the CVU Sports Report. This week, the boys' varsity volleyball had a great game against Essex. On Thursday, we had a huge varsity boys' volleyball game in which we came out with a big dub. Our team won. Our players won three out of four sets, and our team has played one insane game out there on the Essex volleyball court. Today, we have a boys' and girls' varsity cross-country race all the way in Mount Mansfield. From the sports team, good luck. In other news, the varsity field hockey team won a 7-1 victory in Middlebury. In the past, CVU football has struggled, but this year is different. This year, CVU football is 5-1. One of the best records in CVU football has had in its history. And as a team, they have a pretty strong chance of making it far in the playoffs. Tonight at 4 PM, 7 p.m., the team has its last regular season game versus the Essex Hornets. Come and support the CVU football at Essex High School. Admission, $4 for adults and $2 for students and seniors. Last week, the Red Sox have been playing the Astros in a seven game playoff. Last week, the Red Sox won against the Rays three games to one. They were struggling the first game, but made a huge comeback and won the next three games in a row. Tonight, the Red Sox are playing a game against the Astros. So far, the Astros are up three games to two. If the Astros win tonight, they will be playing in the World Series. Back to the studio. Well, that was all the news we have today. My name is Diego. And I'm Joe. And we'll see you next week for next week's show. Goodbye. Goodbye.